and we are back hello everyone welcome back to five minutes course channel where i will be explaining the solution of every problem of lead code and geeks for geeks within less than five minutes so that you can save your time okay so today's problem of the day is sequence of sequence which is a medium level problem but i think it's a bit easy on easy side if you understand recursion and you can visualize the recursion but if you don't there's no issue i will explain you in such manner that uh, you can visualize the code what i'm writing okay all right so let's see what's there into this problem and what we have to do what will be given and what we have to do so we will be given two integers m and n okay so m and n what we have to do we have to form length of n n length sequences such that sequence of i plus 1 is greater than or equal to 2 into sequence of i okay so it means what it means what it means very easy thing if i include 2 in my sequence so the next thing can be uh, not be the next number cannot be less than 4 count one more time if i include 5 into my sequence the next number cannot be less than 10 so it means what sequence of i plus 1 is greater than or equal to 2 into sequence so if i include 5 the next can be greater than or equal to 2 into 5 so it can be 5 comma 10 it can be 5 comma 11 it can be 5 comma 10 12 but it cannot be less than 10 okay all right so this is second thing sequence of i greater than 0 it means we cannot include negative numbers okay and the next thing is m sequence i is less than m it means the numbers sequence number should be in the range of 0 to m and length should be n okay so in this way we have to find count the number of sequences of length n which we can make okay i think the problem explanation is fine and uh, i think you should be able to understand what the problem is saying so now the thing is how are we going to solve this so yeah i've written something for you let's jump on to the notes section for it right so sequence of sequence problem name what approach we are going to do we are going to use the top down approach top down approach means uh, we are given the uppermost limit m okay so i will start from m okay uh, and i will keep on decreasing it so if i take 10 as i told if i take the number 10 so what's the next uh, minimum next max number i can take the next max number i can take is 5 okay i cannot take a number less greater than 5 if i include 10 in my sequence okay all right so second point third point is we will have two options what two options i am having so if my number current number is 10 i have two options either to include that number in sequence so if i include 10 in my sequence the next number can i take is 5 okay but if i don't include 10 so the next number is what 9 means i i don't include 10 so now the option i can include 9 as well so here what will be the remaining length of uh, uh, let's say n length we have to form so what will be the remaining length it will be n minus 1 why because i include 10 i include 10 so the next remaining length will be n minus 1 okay but here i did not include 10 so the next length the still we need to make the length of sequence will be still n okay so these two things these two will be our recursive exp expressions and now what are the base cases base cases is what if look as, as i told i will be decreasing n minus 1 as i did here so if the sequence length if the remaining sequence length is 0 it means we have we have formed one sequence if remaining sequence length is equal to 0 it means we have formed the sequence but if m is less than n it means m is less than n means okay, n is the number of sequences we need to make number of uh, more uh, numbers we need to add in sequence and m is the length m is the like suppose 4 so and n is 5 so can we have 5 numbers which uh, from 0 to 4 with our case uh, uh, applied with our case that i can only take 2 uh, divide by 2 only okay so we cannot have so in this case if m is less than n we will return 0 it means we cannot include that sequence okay so yeah i think that is it and uh, everything will be clear now so yeah let's jump on to the code section but 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 if you haven't subscribed the channel yet please subscribe and uh, it will motivate me a lot okay so if anything is still not clear it will get clear when i will be writing the code for it okay okay all right so uh, this question will show you the beauty of the recursive code how beauty beautiful is the recursion code so look uh, we have two choices if i will include that or i will don't include that so i will do this something like a return to uh, recursive cases will be there recursive so it's number sequence and plus number sequence okay now i have two choices so in the first choice i am including suppose i am including that number so now now what so if i am including that my number the new number will be m by 2 okay my new number will be m by 2 and what's the now what remaining length of sequence is remaining it will be n minus 1 okay and if i'm not including that so my new number will be what m minus 1 and uh, uh, how many more n uh, number i need to include that is n. okay so that's it that's it guys and what now let's write the base cases so as i told if my m becomes less equal to n less than n it means we cannot have suppose i need to include five more uh, numbers in my sequence and um, i have only 0 to 4 limits so i cannot do so i will return 0 
otherwise if my n equal to 0 it means my n length sequence is complete n length sequence is complete so at that time i will return one okay all right so yeah <laughs> that's it guys that's it so let's compile this okay it's running let's submit it i hope it get passed yeah where's my gigabit yeah i got the gigabit so yeah that's it thank you guys and uh, if you need any of the mentorship or any of the guide you can book a top mid call with me and please subscribe the channel like the video and share your feedback and keep on coding and i'm going to see you tomorrow